Hello and welcome to SISD TV News, where we deliver the latest news about the Socorro Independent School District. In our top story, the SISD Board of Trustees have officially hired new superintendent, Dr. Nate Carmen. Carmen signed and accepted the three-year contract. He comes from the Rio Grande Valley and has served as superintendent for nine years. The impression I've received so far is, is a very positive one. Everyone has been very welcoming. Uh, the facilities look to be in good shape. I had the opportunity to uh, get to see some instruction taking place. Uh, it looks like very positive things are happening in Socorro ISD in our classrooms and on our campuses. It, it feels very gratifying. I'm very thankful to be given this opportunity. Uh, and I recognize the importance of this position, the responsibility that comes along with, uh, with leading over 7,000 employees, uh, directing the education of 48,000 students, uh, mas o menos, and, um, but I'm very excited for the opportunity. It's a high-performing district, it's, uh, it's an innovative school district, and I'm happy to be joining part of this team. Students at Escontrias Elementary School received art supplies from the SISD Board of Trustees and Administration. The art supplies were purchased using ESSER funds that were provided to the district. We're, we're passing out art supplies. Um, we we're very fortunate as part of our ESSER package as a district that um, our district was able to uh, furnish art supplies for every kid in grades 2nd through 12, pretty much every kid that's enrolled in an art class. We we're very fortunate that um, we got these supplies because now every kid is going to get a customized supply kit. Everyone has their own set of scissors and paper and crafting tools and markers and you know it's just one of those things that we thought you know this, this is very important going into the future so the kids are really excited to get just kind of even the teachers are excited to get you know just a refresh of more supplies to continue you know showing off the kids and the artwork and all the great talent that they have. Socorro ISD students received the opportunity to display their artwork at the art gallery Casa Ortiz. The students were selected during the district-wide What's Poppin' Pop Art contest earlier this school year. This was an opportunity for our students to showcase their work in a professional setting. Um, the work that's being showcased here was uh, in our pop art competition that we have annually. And uh, one of the judges, his name is Mr. Diego Martinez, also known as the robot. Professional artist, he shows all over internationally. And he said, hey, you know what? I really love this work. He said, I'd love to show it at our gallery. And just what happens, it was right down the street from SISD. So um, it seems like the people are really loving that they have to get to show their stuff uh, in a professional setting like this. I'm excited because like, just to see my artwork here uh, at an uh, art gallery, it feels amazing, <laughs> honestly. It feels amazing to have people see my artwork and what I have done, and for them, and that I'm actually going to be able to sell my artwork. It just feels great. I want them to take away knowing that, you know, they can, they can show their art and it, it could be appreciated. And I love it. And uh, I mean, I was, I was there too, you know. And I, the fact that I, that I can give the space to them now at such a young age, I would hope that it inspires them to become artists or at least, you know, try to do art on their free time. Students at Options High School celebrated their high school graduation with a special ceremony. Family administrators and faculty joined in celebrating the momentous event. Today we are celebrating over 32 of our students that graduated uh, with their high school diploma. All of our students, 100% of them, are graduating college and career ready, I'm proud to say. And that is a huge task because each of them come with their journey from their comprehensive high school to us. And for some reason or other, they needed that extra push to be able to help them graduate. So each one walks on the stage and it's a very emotional moment for me because I know that they've gone through a lot. It's a great option because it gives students an opportunity that they won't really be offered in other high schools. And it gives them just a chance to build their for their future. I waited a long time for this, so it's leading up to this moment, you know, nervous, excited, both. Three Socorro ISD campuses were nominated to be featured on the CBS and KFOX segment, Gopin Gifts Back. Each campus received a special visit from Michael J. Gopin and a $1,000 donation to help their school community. The program that we chose was our SEL, which is our social emotional learning program. We choose students uh, on a monthly or even daily basis. They're nominated to be recognized 
and then monthly we bring them together and, and we celebrate with them. So it's going to fund that effort. So we had an interview with him. It was really fun. Um, he asked me some questions about the donation. So we want to help others, like give them food, hygiene products, and clothing. Um, just for people out there who need it, like homeless people. East Lake High School hosted the Business Professionals of America's regional competition. The competition allows students to compete in events related to various business skills. And it allows our students to compete in multiple events in our business sector. Uh, it's a great opportunity for these students to get experience and we have our community come in and help judge uh, these events to help our students grow. Well, for my students, I know that they were pretty excited, nervous, uh, just because they're going to be competing. They've never done this before. so. Uh, it was great to see that they were really excited about actually presenting. I'm kind of nervous, but I think I'm ready. We've been practicing for a long time, but I think I'm ready. We had to come up with a work policy for COVID-19, so we just had to write um, a policy regarding COVID-19 and safety procedures. We're here to have fun and like work hard, and uh, the competition I'm doing right now is global marketing, and we're supposed to be uh, having a marketing plan for Dave and Buster's. So it puts like the pressure on us because we're not like used to all this, and it just gives us like a taste of like what's going to be like up there. And uh, and yeah, I also um, I also did participate in Deca too, so this is like I'm into business, so just like doing this is gonna, like going to really help me out. The Socorro High School Mariachi Group, Los Gavilanes de Socorro, received a Division I Superior Rating, the highest rating possible, at the 2022 UIL Mariachi Festival. This is the third year out of four the group has been awarded the top award. The news of Los Gavilanes' win at the state competition generated plenty of attention in our community and wide media coverage showcasing these talented Socorro High School Mariachi students. They're dominating the Mariachi Group all across the state, so I just wanted to come down here with the district and commend them for their outstanding work and their dedication that they, that they put into this program. You know, I just wanted to see them and congratulate them because the community is proud of them, the district is proud of them, and I'm proud of them. This is actually my third time winning. So I think as a senior, it means a lot to me to be able to win on my last year, especially knowing how hard it was the previous years. It means even more to me because I love the people that came along with me. It's like a huge journey from freshman year to senior year, and um, the important thing is we all pulled together, we all won. We made ourselves a team. This is like a second family to us. We were able to pull through for the third time and I just couldn't be prouder of all of us. That's our show for today. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the latest in the Socorro Independent School District. Make sure to follow us on Twitter with the Twitter handle at Socorro ISD. Follow our superintendent, Dr. Nate Carmen, with the Twitter handle at Carmen Nate. Also be sure to friend us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Team SISD, and visit our website. Thank you again, and see you next time.